Today I'm going to show you how you cook up a heap of yabbies. Well g'day and welcome to another episode of Warwick Nailer's Boomerang Adventures. On today's episode I'll be showing you how you clean and prepare and then cook up a heap of yabbies for yourself to eat. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll catch you at the end of the episode. All right. Now they've had three days or three nights in the in the bath to empty out and clean up, clean themselves up a little bit. I've spent quite a bit of time um, putting the abbeys back under the under the bar um, under this towel in the bath. But you anyway, know, I've given them a, a good few flushes and they're definitely cleaner. Like this was one of the dirty ones, and he's yeah. So, yeah, hardly dirty at all now, so um, we'll get it, gather them up and um, take them out of the shed and uh, start processing them. So all that muck, it would have gone into, or stayed in the abbeys and and then been in the pot that you boil them up in. So you don't want to eat that crap, crap literally, because it's what it is. Okay, now, got the abbeys in the shed and all there. Now this is a little bit different to probably how a lot of people do their crustaceans. Most people just throw them in the water alive, but I think that's a little bit cruel. I'm a bit of a, a bit of a softy when it comes to that. And also, you throw them straight in the water, they've got this yellow gunk in them that I find disgusting. Um, the look is just terrible in the water. It does taint the water and the flavour so um, I like to flick that out of them too and I'll show you what that is. Cutting off the yabby's head just behind that ridge there and put it through and then crush down and flick it off. It's pretty simple. It's very quick for the yabby. It's a lot better than getting boiled alive. Like that. See that stuff there? That would just end up in the water and in my opinion is disgusting. So I don't know why you'd want to eat that. But there you go, you can pick it out. And now the red yabby is ready to clean up. This is the biggest one, and I know everybody wants to measure the biggest one, so I'll just chop his head off and then I'll be able to measure him. And look, look at that brown stuff, that ends up in the water. It just taints the meat and um, makes it quite unclean. I'll get rid of that. Now, measure it. You see, see the nerves? That's just the nerves going. He's, he's completely dead. Oh wow. 31 and a half centimetres. So 12 inches or 12 and a half inches. That's, that's a record for me. Now that is the biggest yabby I've ever caught. <laughs> Righto, now, look at this gunk cleaned off them, not just the remains of their guts. 
muddy slime coffin and a bit of the guts there but you will need to get all that mud off much of that dirt off as you can because that's just a stain that's okay but anything that feels slimy you've got to get it off and if any decent sized yabbies like this one where there's a bit of meat in those legs sometimes they're, they're fun to chew on we we'll just give that a bit of a scrub in there make sure there's no nothing left in the gut cavity there no yellow or browny bits left in there get that off and this makes the whole thing taste a bit better and oh yeah also if you got the smaller one where um, you don't want to keep those little legs you just break the tail off and sometimes the back two legs will come with it that's all right and the claws and yeah clean them up if they need it but either pretty clean when they're this color they're pretty clean they don't need much of a scrub but I'll also add it's even though it's been a few minutes since it's died those nerves are still working and they can give you just as bad a bite as when they're alive you get your finger in that spot so that's actually quite sharp and if you um if you get yourself caught in there they'll draw blood no problems all right last claw another thing about tearing the claws and the tails off most of them is that it takes up a lot less room in the pot it's so you don't need such a big container when you're cooking them and if you're not allowed to cook them inside um, you know you can uh, spend a lot less a lot less effort uh, outside on the barbie or or on some sort of hot plate so let's get into that now we're going to try two methods of cooking one will boil them up in the pot and the other one will um, fry them or essentially barbecue them but you know in a frying pan um, to get them going in the pot I like that about, uh, about two for that amount of water about two tablespoons of salt this is Himalayan pink salt the only salt you should use for yabbies um, and So we'll put one of the big ones <clears throat> in the pot and most of the small ones in the pot and we'll try a couple of the larger yabbies in the frying pan. Put a bit of butter on that, or in there, a good amount of butter see the color going orange already I go pretty much I go pretty much completely orange when they're <clears throat> fully curled up and all orange you can safely say they're done it takes about as much time to do a yabby as it does to do a to hard boil an egg that's what I'd like to do anyway. If I was a French chef, I might say something different. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with my accent the way it is. So that big one, he might take a bit longer than the others, I think. So we'll give him a bit longer. All right, so now we just wait for him to be done. Righto, it's been a few minutes, these are looking done. So, hmm, that smell is very familiar. It's like, like cooking crabs or, or um, crayfish or lobster. Um, look a bit different in here. 
um, that big one. I'm not going to trust that. I'm trying to turn him over. I'm not going to trust that big one's done just yet. Give me a bit longer. Those claws are quite thick. But the other stuff I think's done. All right. All right. Definitely be done. Turn him off. Looking good. All right, now the fun bit, the eating. Okay. Now, got our, they've all cooled down a bit, nice. We're gonna use vinegar, um, just as a, a, what do you call, a condiment, something to make it taste a bit nicer. Because um, if we're honest, Gabby's actually don't taste that good. So to get the the poo tube out, you get that top um, little bit of shell there. You crack it that way, that way. Pull very slowly, and out it doesn't come. Something like that. They don't always work. Now you got to cut the shell on the sides like this to get the meat out. Comes off a lot easier. Like that. So, there's a bit of muscle at the top of the tail. Then the poo tube's underneath that. Get that out. And then you'll have yourself a much cleaner. <clears throat> um, meal. So, tastes a lot nicer with vinegar. I'm just using an apple cider vinegar if you want to know, but you can use any, any sort of vinegar. And that's hardly muddy at all of all that work we did on it. And that's the one that was boiled. So I'll try one. I'll try this big one. A bit of his tail. Give it those back legs. Try our poo tube trick. Don't know if it's going to work this time. Uh, not quite. I think they're a bit overdone for that. Yeah, that's a nice bit of meat. That's off the biggest yabby that I've ever caught, so it's, uh, they're not going to get much bigger than that, those tails. Great. Tastes no different to um, a small yabby. <laughs> but, um, Yeah, fantastic, but the abbeys are a bit, of a, a bit of a dirty animal, you know, they filter the water for a living, so um, not something I'd make a meal of very much. Now this is, we'll try the claw actually, that one of these big ones. Yeah, in, in a survival situation, sure, eat the abbeys, but I don't make a habit of it. So you've got to crack that open. Usually, probably in a fancy restaurant, you might have a hammer, or nutcracker, or something. A pair of scissors is as good as any. Okay, look at that! Beautiful. Not so dangerous now, is it? So. Now the, crowd, the uh, claw meat is a little bit better. Yeah, it's not so, um, doesn't have quite 
that muddy flavour is a little, still a little bit muddy the tail, but the claw doesn't have it at all. Mmm, <coughs> nice. And then, if you want to get really picky, you can get into these, and um, you got to squeeze them with your teeth. You can actually suck the muscle out, but um, yeah, it's pretty much a waste of time. But you end up doing that at the end of the meal when you run out of other good stuff to eat. And there we go. That is how. That's how you cook and or sorry, clean and cook yabbies for a meal. And um, yeah, good fun. Like I said, don't do it all the time. Probably not that good for you this meat. But um, yeah, it's a good lesson to learn in sort of survival, for survival situations and that. And don't forget to check out my other episode on how to catch shabbies, because this wouldn't be happening if we didn't catch them. So thanks for watching, and um, catch you next time. Well, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And welcome to any new subscribers that have just joined the channel. And also don't forget to comment in the comment section below. I'm happy to answer any questions as well. If anybody's got uh, anything they're wondering about, about Australia or about this area that I live in, I'm happy to have a bit of a chat. Now I'm also going to be releasing previews to my shows from now on. So during the week, maybe a Wednesday or Thursday, I'll release a, a preview for the show that's coming on the weekend so watch out for those and also I'm just gonna read off my analog teleprompter here I'm gonna be doing daily posts of nature and any interesting things I find on Instagram because I'm active on Instagram now and I'm gonna link that to Facebook now because I'm active on Instagram and Facebook you're gonna have a chance to appear on my channel my YouTube channel because I'm going to be asking everyone who's interested to be involved in taking some photos or short videos of little natural phenomenon that happen around your place or your part of the world. So I'd like you to uh, just follow the prompts on Facebook and Instagram and you'll find out what to do there. It's going to be under the look what I've found post and you'll find out what to do. Okay. Thanks for that, I'll catch you on the next episode or I'll see you on Instagram and Facebook.